So in my last vlog on the experience of IVF, I talked about, you know, shots and retrieval and uh, I don't know if I talked about transfer. Did I talk about transfer? Yeah, we kind of talked about that. But I just want to make one correction, you guys. I must be thinking about my upcoming frozen embryo cycle because I said I transferred two in that fresh. I did not transfer two. I transferred one on the fresh, uh, obviously because my doctor and my clinic is very strict about multiples and things like that. And I transferred one on the FET. And you guys all can go back and look at those FET vlogs. But this is also, you know, this is for people going through their fresh. Um, and newcomers that are new to the channel. So, um, two other things I wanted to talk to you guys about. I completely neglected to tell you about the prometrium. Let me tell you about the, pro just progesterone period. Uh, it caused me to break out like right here on my, you can't really see it. It's like, like heat, it looked like a heat rash and it happened in the fresh one and it happened on the, f uh, frozen embryo transfer as well. And it happened. My, my skin is gross. Like my poor, oh, it's just a mess. It just does terrible things to my, um, my skin. And also it causes sciatic issues for me. I've never had a back issue or a leg issue ever in life. But apparently progesterone does this to me. So I just, I don't know if it does it to anybody else, but I wanted to, you know, put that out there. Um, let's talk about transfer day. On the day of transfer, ladies, you are going to go in, you're going to hopefully be the first one because <laughs> you don't want, because you have to drink a lot, of, you have to drink water to fill your bladder up. Well, on the first retrieval, I was fine. Maybe I didn't drink as much. I mean, not retrieval. The first transfer, I didn't drink as much. But this last one? Well, you all can look back and see what happened. But it was crazy. I'm never going to drink that much water again. And I didn't, I don't, I think my bladder's just tiny. But you, they're just going to simply, you know, have you drink and go back. And then they put the catheter in and they stick, you know, the babies in. And the embryologist is going to come in and say, oh, how many are you transferring today? And then they're going to stick it in. And it looks like a little cute little shooting star when it's going on the ultrasound screen. Some lady's going to be having an ultrasound uh, thing on your stomach while the doctor's at the you know, the foot of the little bed area and he's putting the little embryos in. So it's it's not a terrible process. Out of the whole process, that was the easiest thing ever. There's nothing to be nervous about. It's like going to a normal gynecological appointment. Nothing to be worried about. Um so um um and I'm <laughs> I have to laugh because waiting for God's miracle had me dying because she was super nervous. I wish that I would have recorded this for her prior. Sorry, girl. But um please do not be nervous. Out of all the grand scheme of things, that is not something you need to be nervous about. It's just like they're putting a speculum in and it's a regular day at getting your GYN appointment. How about that? So, um, I think that that's it, guys. We talked about Prometria. We talked about progesterone. Oh, the fit cycle. If you're doing a fit, it's super easy. It's less time, less pain um, than doing a fresh, okay? But hopefully you won't have to know about a fit because you're going to get pregnant from that fresh one. Bye, everybody.